Art making taps into the pleasure center of your brain, <laughs> so it makes you feel good while you're doing it. It wasn't an easy life by any means, and it was captured in his photography. The arts are bringing a new whole joy to life, and I think people appreciate that. Arts generally, and theater specifically, gives us interactions that enhance our lives and grow our community's strength in immeasurable ways. I can't remember not making things. I draw, I make sculpture, I use clay, I make video animations. Art making is an essential part of being human, and it is one of the sort of inherent uh, sort of drives that we have. I do have a lot of people that I know say, well, I'm not very creative, and I'm like, we need to think about what that actually means. Like, I always want to encourage a broad definition of being creative. So the Art Association provides studio space and classroom space to the Jackson Hole community. We welcome and provide art classes for anyone from preschool to lifelong learners. Art making and art sharing creates an understanding, it creates empathy. Arts is beneficial to mental well-being, physical well-being, and social well-being. He really did capture the everyday life of the American cowboy in the American West and really showed what they were going through and what they dealt with day after day. He got interested in, in photography about 1909, and then after moving to the ranch, he started in taking pictures of the West and the way of life out here. Well, I think being out there working with the cowboys and being one himself, he really became one himself. And seeing what was going on out there caught his attention and he wanted to capture that. He had a horse named Pinky that he really liked and he trained Pinky to stand perfectly still. He could set up his camera and his tripod and take the pictures. So it really is amazing when you think of packing those glass negatives all over. It's amazing to me the interest that his photography is still bringing. Artists still today are using it, um, making bronzes. It's used in furniture. It's been used uh, for labels on hot sauce. <laughs> I think there was a real freedom of lifestyle and the rugged individualism that those people really lived and it was captured in his photography. I wouldn't know what to do without the arts, to tell you the truth. It's always been a part of my life. Something inspiring brings another aspect to our lives and enriches our lives. One of the, the fun parts of being here at the Fine Arts Center is the kids' tours. We have a couple of paintings that were donated by Robert Slupke. So I share with the kids, look at these paintings, look how solid those rocks are, and very professional looking. And so I asked the kids, what do you think this guy did for a living? And of course they said, well, he was an artist. And I said, well, he had a very different job. He was a football coach for the University of Illinois. The last 10 years or so of his career, he became a painter. And I asked them, what do they think they want to be when they grow up? And I tell them that no matter what you are doing to put food on your table, you can always include the arts. Art doesn't have to be a separate thing. It can be part of their life. That's what we're here for. We are here to, to make it a part of everybody's life. There's a quote by Kurt Vonnegut. Practicing an art, no matter how well or badly, is a way to make your soul grow. And he says, for heaven's sake, sing in the shower, dance to the radio, tell stories, write a poem to a friend, even a lousy poem. Do it as well as you possibly can. You will get an enormous reward. You will have created something.
James Elliott Bama was born in 1926 in New York City and developed his love of art and drawing while copying Flash Gordon and other comic strips. After serving as a mechanic and mural painter in the Army Air Forces, he used his GI Bill to study with the Art Students League in New York. Starting in the early 1950s, he began a 22-year career as a commercial artist producing paperback book covers, movie posters, and illustrations for the Saturday Evening Post and Reader's Digest. His work includes 62 covers of Bantam's Doc Savage series of paperbacks. After visiting Wyoming several times, James and his wife left New York in 1968 to live in a ranch near Cody where he began painting western subjects while still making freelance illustrations. By 1971, the North Fork painter, known for oil paintings with photorealistic appearances, was successfully selling western art in New York galleries. James' paintings have not only preserved part of Wyoming's culture, but shared it with the rest of the world. Speaking of his adopted state, he is quoted as saying, Here, an artist can trace the beginnings of Western history, and you can stand surrounded by nature's wonders. One of the most beautiful joys of theater is that electricity and energy and excitement of being together with a random group of people and laughing at something that could never happen again. It is something that cannot be replaced by viewing anything alone in our home. You know, we try to find the things that speak to our community and our audience and that can connect them. You wanna to come to one of our Shakespeare shows, you're not gonna see Renaissance Shakespeare. Um, you're gonna see Shakespeare that's from Wyoming. Um, and it's got our outdoors incorporated into it. In our production of As You Like It, we had some park rangers. Our actors interact with the audience in a very visceral way. And it breaks down some of the barriers that you might traditionally think occur when you turn off the lights and there's a very formal theatrical setting. Participating in theater from the youngest ages to our oldest adults allows you to really develop important life skills that can be hard to come by. Things like self-confidence with public speaking, building relationships with people. It helps you feel alive. And when we lose that and we lose those opportunities to connect, it gets harder and harder to find it again. We were committed before, but we are doubly committed now to what the experience is because you cannot replace the joy that comes from expressing humanity through that type of shared experience. Mm -hmm.